story's about a little girl, a little girl and her stuffed animal llama living in an abandoned, run-down trailer home with her aunt and two dogs. It's about a repairman who stumbles into that world, and it's about the world that they share, the world that we all share, and how we're all connected, even in little ways. So this story is about love, and more specifically, it's about the love between like a father and a daughter. Um, and this one is more like a surrogate father and surrogate daughter, but it's about like the sacrificial love that is in that context and how far you're willing to go to, to protect that person. Because in this story, there's an innocent girl who is surrounded both physically and emotionally by a barren wasteland. And this uh, repairman has kind of lived through a similar situation and he's wanting to protect her from that and give her a life that he never had. It resonates with me because it's about connection on a daily level. It's about how we don't change all at once. The more time we spend with somebody, the more of ourselves we have to give away, but also the more we receive. One of the reasons I really resonate with this script is it deals with loneliness. And that's something that I kind of went through in high school. Um, I was looked at as like the perfect kid I got really good grades and I actually ended up teaching myself a lot of this stuff in high school and I kind of got this reputation of being the person who could never get anything wrong. And it put me at a distance from the other kids and it really was a lonely place to be. And I kind of feel like the repairman is in a similar situation. He's been worn down by this environment that he's in and it really takes this girl waking him up to realize that it's in caring for other people that we really find true happiness. I originally heard about Law 32 about a year and a half ago. Uh, Chris actually wrote it in a short form writing class that we were both in, and it was good then. And since then, he spent a year and a half working on it, and it's really, really great now. When Chris asked me to be on board, I was really excited because I really resonate with this script. Kind of the root of it came from this picture that I saw going around the internet of this this house. Well, I guess I guess you can't really. <laughs> even call it a house, but it, it was this shack, is a better description, that had this uh, satellite dish on the side of it. And uh, it was old, run down, it was you know falling apart, decaying, you know, needed a whole lot of attention, but uh, the dish, the, the satellite dish was pristine, just sitting on the side there. Um, and, so, and so that, that just struck me as kind of funny and uh, a little bit odd, uh, and kind of got at the greater, kind of a, a greater evil in society, which is how we kind of lose sight of what's important and our misplaced priorities. How we can leave, you know, dirty dishes just sitting in the sink while we binge watch another television show. Um, and so I, I wondered, you know, what kind of a person would live in that kind of an environment? You know, what if a little girl lived in that kind of a situation? One reason I really feel like we need to make this project is it's a very limited location. It's actually just one location, which may not seem like a big deal, but it actually helps us really focus in on the story and the quality of the script. Another reason is we have a lot of talent in all departments on this script, which is really gonna come to bear. And we have free access to equipment here at the school, which is really gonna help us keep the cost of the script down. It's a play on problems with society about how we can just you know leave the dishes in the sink so to speak how our priorities can get so messed up that this could happen you know a little girl could be in an abandoned trailer home and we might never know <laughs>